Hi, this is Russell Stanar from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is a full introduction into Quizlet. So if you don't know Quizlet that well, this would be a great set of videos to work through and learn about how to use Quizlet for studying vocabulary. If you know Quizlet well and you want to learn more advanced features, well, try some of the links below as I've added also an advanced uh, set of videos about Quizlet and a couple about special features within Quizlet. And please comment on the videos any questions, anything you want me to help you with, just leave a comment and I'll we'll get back to you and let's start straight away. Now what Quizlet.com does is it allows you to basically take a list of things that you want to learn. It's very popular, for example, for languages, but also, for example, for revising geography or history or sciences, etc. So it can really be used in lots of different genres. Uh, I'm going to show you examples here in learning English, but it will take a list of words, perhaps with the, the word in English plus a picture or the word in English plus a translation. And from, from that big set of cards that you've created, you create lots of different games. Now, the easiest way for me to do this is to quickly show you. So I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to come on here and I'm going to write English. So just to make them easy, English furniture. And what we're going to do is immediately all cards that have been created by other teachers. One of the great things about Quizlet is that you can share the material that other teachers have created. I can quickly scroll through and see if there are any uh, words that look quite useful. This is a quite a good set. I've got the word in Spanish and in English with a picture as well. So that could be good because you could either be using it to learn English or to learn, learn Spanish. Um, or you could just have a set here. I noticed this one's have just got the word in English plus a picture. So let's, let's keep it really simple and we'll use these ones here. So we click on these cards and then what you'll notice is that you've now got all of the cards below and you can see them all very quickly and if you click on here you'll probably be able to hear the word as well bed okay and um, we've got all these games and activities that we can play with this selection of cards okay so that's the basic premise that you have a set of cards that you either find or that you create and then you can play a whole series of activities or your students can play a whole series of activities to learn those words so I'm going to quickly go through now the activities that we can do with this set of cards we've got 20 cards here and I'm just going to show you the activities that we can do with them now the first game that I want to focus on is probably the most useful, it's called flashcards. So I'm going to click on flashcards and basically what it is is where you've got a card and then you've got perhaps the picture on one side or the word on the other or a sentence on one side in one language and a sentence on the other side in, in another language or the present simple and then the past simple. There's lots of different ways that you could use Quizlet um, and all we need to do is to flip the card over, just click on it. Sofa. And it will Sofa. back and forward and if we want to move to the next word so we might guess what that word is in English, so cushion. Cushion. And then move on the next one, chair. Armchair. Or armchair, okay, move on the next one, chair. Chair. Okay, so we're just basically working through the words. It's just basically a way of revising the vocabulary. Now if we want to go back, we click here, and we could then decide to go to another game. So we've already looked at the first game, which in this case was uh, working with flashcards, but we've got riot and spell and test and match and gravity and learn. So some of these are kind of gamey and some of them are more like quizzes. So I'm gonna focus first on some of the other gamey ones and then we'll look at more of the kind of quiz testing type activities that are also available on Quizlet. Now a really obvious game is the match one that people would be very familiar with and that's where you're basically just matching two pieces of information. So in this case it's going to be the word and the picture. So the idea is you simply just drag the word and the picture together. The faster you do it, the uh, more uh, points you get basically. So it's a kind of good way of revising either sentences or words or concepts it could again be used for anything that you want to do it for okay I'm just going to click back again that's the simple match activity and of course it will depend on the type of flashcards that you've got so in other words is it a sentence or is it just a word on its own or is it a translation etc so that one is called match let's have a look at another activity 
Now the next game I want to show you is the gravity game. We click here. With each of the games there's some settings that we can look at. I'm just going to get started but there are a few settings. I can for example have the word in English first or the picture first depending on the activity. So in this case we're going to answer with English but sometimes if you're using two languages you could either an uh, answer with one language or the other. I've got different levels of difficulty. I'm going to make this easy and we can instead of using all the words in the list we can just select the starred ones now I haven't done that so I'll do it all but I'll quickly show you that afterwards so if we start the game here the words will come down and simply you've got to try to write that word as quick as possible so I'm going to guess that this is clock it might be alarm clock but let's have a look at that's correct and then the next word will come down so the idea is that you're trying to qu answer the questions as quickly as you can okay now I just want to make a point here I'm just going to pause this okay in fact we can just come back I did mention to you that instead of using always all of the words in the list what you can do also is star the particular words that you want to work with so if I for example just wanted to practice say those five words uh, to start with which is sometimes a really good idea when you're working particularly um, if you've got a very big list and you only want to say slick, select five or ten words and if I did the matching activity now when I'm doing that matching activity I have got the option of saying well I only want to use the starred words for example and the same if I'm doing the gravity activity or any of the activities instead of me simply always using all the cards I can limit it to just particular words that I want to practice and that can be a good idea and that's just simply using the star so as you can see here now when I'm doing this particular activity then I'm only using those star words and of course I could do that with any of the activity types if I was to click back again and go back to the other one that we were just looking at a moment ago which is called gravity the same thing when I'm doing that gravity activity when I click on get started I could say I only want to work with the starred words and that will only practice those words that I've selected rather than the complete list and that can be quite useful the activity would be exactly the same you would just simply be focusing on a certain number of key words the right ones are fairly easy activity it's simply a question of trying to spell the words um, so you've got the word here and then you would obviously just write it below and then click on answer this uh, site works really well on an app uh, I have the Quizlet app on my telephone and uh, it's excellent so I really suggest as well that you download the Quizlet app here again I write the word door and click on answer and it's just simply and then I would then click on the next word to come through again you would have options here now in this case you're not going to have any options because you've only got the picture plus the word in English but if you had perhaps a translation from Polish to English then you could choose the options and then choose a different language etc and again we've always got the option of either going for all the words or just the starred words now clicking back this is an interesting one I quite like it's tough uh, it's called uh, that one was called right this one's called spell and what I like about this is that it gives you the word. Uh, you have to type it, but if you get it wrong, it creates sofa. it for you. So if I make a mistake, so I'm going to write the word sofa with a double A and press enter. Sofa. S -O -F -A. It's now a. It corrects the Sofa. word for you, then it asks you to spell it again. So great exposure to key words, very good, for example, for me, trying to learn Polish and learn to spell better. Um, and so really, really good Cushion. activity uh, for doing that. So really nice, uh, again, you, you're, you're hearing the word and then you're tr Clock. trying to spell it correctly. So that's another nice option. So each time here I'm clicking on the back button to come back to the list of words and then I'm selecting the game. What we've been doing so far is looking at the kind of gamey types of things or the writing types of things and there's there's two kind of test activities. So the first one is this one which is an obvious one and uh, where you can actually create a test. Now one of the nice things about the test is if you click on the options is that you can have matching or multiple choice or you can actually select what types of questions you want. So say if you only wanted only multiple choice you could do that and again, do you want the starred words or all the words? Well, I'm going to work with all of them. How many questions do you want? So you've got a few options here. And uh, again, it would depend on the types of flashcards that you've got available. Now, if we, for example, selected that and then came back to the test, uh, you don't have to save anything. Um, you just simply click here, create new test, and that will then create a new test. 
and in this case what we've got here is a multiple choice now incidentally you can even print these tests out so you could actually use them for a classroom situation as well if you wanted to do a kind of formal paper test in the classroom but you can see how uh, simple it is for this to be created and um, then of course I can just um, right I'm guessing that must be a desk check my answers and see if I got them right or wrong 100% and again of course I could come back and do another test choose different options and then click on create new test and then we're gonna have a test that's gonna have a variety of questions okay so the the options are very very useful there now the other thing is learn which again is a sort of test type of situation and it just revises the words that you've been working with so again I'm just clicking on learn I'm gonna click on get started uh, it's just telling you a little bit about it and then you've got these activities and it's basically it's just basically testing you and making sure um, that uh, you're kind of learning the vocabulary so cupboard armchair I'm gonna go for cupboard here uh, good and then click on the next one and then I'm gonna go for um, bookcase here etc okay so we've now had a look at the basic features but what I've suggested so far is that you uh, would use cards that other teachers uh, have created and that's great but of course it's much better if you create an account for yourself which is free and then make your own cards or make copies of cards that other teachers have used so that you've got them in your own account um, one problem if you use cards from other teachers is is if they decide to delete those cards then uh, obviously you can't uh, access them anymore so the best thing is to do is to really create an account in Quizlet and then to actually begin to create your own cards or copy cards from other teachers and you can even edit those cards uh, so that you've got them in your own account and that means that if that teacher deletes the cards they don't delete your copy um, so Quizlet it's all about sharing so we're going to move into sort of part two now where we're going to focus on this idea of creating your own cards and I'm going to show you various ways of doing that so to so sign up here just click over here fill in the information and create an account or you can sign up via your Facebook account or via your Google account I'm actually connected to my Google account because I use Quizlet so often I just want to really just kind of log in very quickly the big difference between you um, uh, just accessing cards from other teachers and you accessing your own cards is that if you click you can see all your own study sets now I use this at the moment for studying Polish but I've actually used it for lots of other things as well um, so what I'm going to do now is show you how you would find a set of cards that you perhaps liked from another teacher copy them into your account and then edit them so that they work for you so let's have a quick look at doing that so let me take you for an example about how you would copy a set of cards that you perhaps wanted to make use of um, and of course you can edit them as well so I'm going to write Polish transport and see if I can find any useful cards right there's a set of cards here at the top straight away with the picture and then the word in Polish and also telling me if it's masculine or feminine if I come down here I've also got a translation I've got 12 different words here uh, this one's got 13 words this one's only got five this one looks quite good because I've got the picture so I'm going to click on those and the first thing I'm going to do is click on customize so I'm going to click on this button here to customize these cards because I'd like to use them for myself so I just click on that button and I'm going to call this Polish transportation Russell so these are going to be my own cards and I'm now going to click on create so I've now got that set of cards so you can see how easy it is for me simply to copy a set of cards that another teacher has made and then I can have them for myself and that's the whole idea of Quizlet is to be able to do that now I might want to edit these cards afterwards if I click here on edit I could edit them and there might be a few cards for example that I don't want to use because I already know those words so if I was to come down here I mean the word summer hod which is car I kind of know that word already so I can just delete that so I'm just going to click here and uh, if there's any more well rover is also another word I already pretty well pretty well know so I'm going to click on that as well autobus let's get rid of that one because that's almost the same word in English anyway okay so I can kind of go through and if I want to add any new words I could also do that I could just click here and add a new card if I've got a particular word that I want to add that um, is not included in the list then I could do that I'm going to delete that as well so very quickly I can grab a set of cards that another teacher has created make a copy for myself and then I can edit them add to them delete them 
change them if I want to change the definition or anything and that's obviously one way of creating your own cards once you've done that click on the done button and those cards are now yours and you'll find them in your list if you was to click on your study sets you'll find that your cards are now there and available for you to study so that's an obvious way now you can actually create cards from the start as well and I'm going to show you that next okay let's start to look at how you can actually create your own cards from scratch and this is another way of working I don't often do this uh, sometimes I do if I've got a list of words that I need to study from a lesson so it can be great for students to know about click on the create button there at the top of the screen and what you want to do is always start by for example writing in the words so or the, the title connected to the words that you've just learned so I'm just gonna put here a uh, vocabulary December 2019 so just some new words sorry 2018 uh, that have just come up uh, that, from my book uh, from my lessons and now what I can do come down here and one of the things that I can do is I can choose uh, the languages that I'm going to use so I'm going to I'm going to have the words in English and then the uh, definition in Polish and you can actually automate this so just to keep this very simple let me give you an example so I'm gonna write the word um, strawberry and if I then select that from here uh, I get the word come up here in uh, Polish and I've got two op two options here so I, singular singular or plural and if I wanted to I could even click here and add an image and it will give me some sort of image now all of that is actually in the free tool um, now it's not going to work so well if you start using phrases you sometimes do get a two-word phrase um, but if you obviously write a whole phrase then you'll need to put the translation yourself now thinking about being a bit creative here some of the things that you can do obviously you know sentence in English sentence in Polish sentence in English sentence in English now that could be interesting for example if you've got the sentence in the present simple and then in the past simple uh, which I've done quite a lot or sentence with only the first word and the last word and then the complete sentence and I do that for speaking practice and I think I've put that in some other videos that I've added onto YouTube so there's lots of other ways of actually or being more creative when you're working with um, Quizlet we'll just do one more word just to to kind of make it clear so let's just put in the word um, pair all right and again choose the words all right and then it's going to give me the uh, auto you know the um, translation into Polish and then again I can click on a picture if I want to add that and that's basically how I would create my cards and then once I've done that uh, once I've created these cards and of course you can add as many as you want you've got up to five here and then just carry on adding more if you want to then you simply click on the create button and that creates the cards for you the easiest way to share your cards is let's imagine that you've made a set of cards so come to your study sets and you'll find your cards there and then choose the set that you want to share click on the set and then at the top here you'll notice that there's a second button along it's called share click on that and the most obvious thing to do is to simply copy that link in fact you can just click here copy link and then share that on Edmod or, or email it to the students or share it on Moodle or share it in a Google Doc or however you're going to do it you can email students as well if you do have their email addresses but that is often the easiest way to quickly get your uh, content shared and then of course the students can just click on the link and then do the activities just a couple of last things uh, there's going to be two links below one of them is to an advanced set of training videos about using Quizlet and another one is to a list a playlist of lots of different videos all around different features of working with Quizlet uh, very specific training if you're looking for it uh, I think you're going to find those very useful please leave comments please like the videos if you can um, if you really want to follow my work as well, my suggestion is to come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots of different topics, lots of different free videos that you can access. Just click on the links and you'll come to different videos about different aspects of technology in uh, education. And uh, I suggest that you sign up to the newsletter if you really want to keep up and be told about all the latest videos that are being added up, then uh, that's the best way. Or you can also follow me on my YouTube channel as I tend to put all of the content onto there as well. And thank you very much.